hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to achieve this makeup look for back to school. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in literally forever, so I have returned. I absolutely love this makeup look. It's pretty much like my go-to, and I feel like it'll be perfect for school. And I pretty much used almost every product that's drugstore. There's a few products that are high-end, but predominantly the products in this video are going to be drugstore. But that is enough rambling. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. So to start off the makeup look today, I'm actually going to start off with my eyes because I feel like when you're rushing for school in the morning, sometimes you can really mess up and if the rest of your makeup is done, like your foundation or your concealer, you really don't want to take those off as well and start from scratch. So it's good to have the eyes done first and out of the way. So I'm actually going to be starting off with the Rimmel London Eye Palette and this is called the Magnifies Nude Edition. It has literally every single shade you could think of from day looks all the way down to night looks. So this is like a really perfect all-rounder kind of palette. It's got lots of mattes, lots of shimmers, but today we're actually going to be focusing on the matte shades because for school you want something a little bit more neutral and more natural looking. The first shade I'm actually going to take today is the third one here and this is like the perfect matte shadow to use in the crease. I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush and I'm just blending that into the crease. This is going to give like a nice subtle depth to the lid and it's also going to make all of the other shadows blend in so much easier. I absolutely love these eyeshadows so much. There's literally no fallout at all and that's exactly what you want from eyeshadows especially for back to school because you know you don't want to be like faffing around with eyeshadows that are like falling all over your face. The next eyeshadow I'm going to take is this one here and it's like a light brown kind of color. It's matte once again. So I'm going to pick that up on the same brush and I'm just going to blend this further into the crease but only focusing it on the outer corner just to give a little bit more depth there. We don't want this look to be overboard. We still want it to look quite natural and like you're barely wearing any makeup. And I know a lot of you guys are going to appreciate that because there's a lot of schools out there who don't allow you to wear makeup, so I'm just doing this tutorial bearing that in mind. I'm also going to pull that brown eyeshadow just underneath my lash line and just again focusing that in the outer corner only. I'm now going to take the lightest color from the palette, which is this one here, and it's a light kind of whitish matte color, and I'm just going to pick that up on the brush that came with the palette. And I'm going to pop this in the very inner corners of my eyes. If you guys struggle from having like tired looking eyes, adding a bit of brightness to the inner corners of your eyes literally does wonders. And if you guys are like staying up late on a school night, this will literally be your lifesaver. So now that we have finished with the eyes, as you can see, they're very like minimal looking. We're gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm gonna be using the Rimmel London Wonder Wing Eyeliner. This eyeliner is actually really interesting because the tip is felt, but it it has like a stamp kind of thing on the end. If you guys look up real close, you can see it. Um, it basically allows you to create a wing much easier than any other felt tip liner. So what you're supposed to do is use the flat end of the eyeliner and just stamp that onto the skin. And as you can see, that gave me a really small wing. Obviously we're going to Make this more precise, so I'm just filling that wing in. I think for school makeup, using a felt tip liner is actually probably the easiest way to apply eyeliner because it's so easy to control and I absolutely swear by felt tip liners. And as you can see, this is the eyeliner finish. You guys obviously know that I can't live without a wing liner. And I try to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit more subtle, so it's a little bit more wearable for school. And the mascara that I'm going to be using today is this one here, which is called the Wonderfully Real Mascara. This is perfect for those of you who want to achieve that false lash look without the lashes actually looking fake. I really love the wand of this mascara as well, because it really catches every single lash, even those tiny ones hiding in the corners. Look at them lashes. I absolutely love this mascara. It adds a lot of length and volume to my lashes, but without them looking clumpy. And I'm also going to add a little bit of mascara just on my bottom lashes as well. 
But now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. They're looking a little bit sparse, so they definitely need a little bit of help. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in shade Blonde, and I'm just going to use this to kind of fill and fix up any of my sparse areas. So what I like to do is I just like to go underneath the brow first. And then what I like to do is actually turn the brush vertically and just create little brush strokes to make it look like actual eyebrow hairs. And now I'm going to try and repeat the same thing to my other eyebrow. Now, don't be too disheartened if you can't get your eyebrows to match perfectly. Brows aren't meant to be twins, they're meant to be sisters. <laughs> so now that my brows are looking nice and full, we can move on to my actual skin. So to begin, I'm actually gonna be using this Anna Sui Creamy Foundation Primer. You can use any primer from the drugstore that you like. These are literally a lifesaver. They make your foundation so much smoother, and I swear, by primers. So I'm just going to rub that into my skin, just to smooth it out and prime it for the foundation. The foundation I'm gonna use today is this one from New Look. I've actually tested this out in a video before and I actually quite like it at the moment. I've been really using this a lot lately and it's a matte foundation. I'm then just going to use my big iconic face brush and I'm just going to blend this in to my face to get a nice even complexion. To conceal my under eyes and just any blemishes, I've got a little face demon going on here. I'm actually gonna use this Pro Conceal Concealer by LA Girl. And this is in shade Light Ivory. It actually has a slight orangey kind of tint to it. So it's perfect for your under eyes. Any orange tones in concealers really cancel out the darkness and the pigments of an under eye. So I'm just gonna dab that on any blemishes that I have on my face. So I'm just going to blend my under eye concealer with this brush. I'm actually going to drag that concealer all the way to the top, like into my hairline, because I feel like that really lifts your face and also highlights at the same time. So that is my foundation and concealer finished. I think it looks pretty good. And I'm now gonna move on to powder contouring. So for my contour, I'm gonna be using this New Look palette and it's got three different shades of contour. Actually, it has a highlight, um, a medium shade, and then a dark shade. So I'm gonna be taking the dark shade on this little contour brush. And with this, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of definition to my cheekbones, just to add a little bit of shape back into the face. I'm also going to take this contour up into the temple and the forehead just to make it all blend together seamlessly. If your face is still looking a little bit oily, you can set it in place to make your makeup last all day long. And for this, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Loose Powder. Packaging is so cute. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and you can use anything. You can use like a drugstore powder, they're just as good. And I'm just going to be taking that underneath my eyes on a big, kind of like a dome brush. This is just to make sure that your makeup does not slide off of your face during the day. Oh, I also forgot my favorite part, the blush, duh. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be using Lutty London. This is from the drugstore. And this is the Blush Crush Powder Blusher in shade Zane. Look how pretty that is. I have a dent in there, but please ignore that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that on a Real Techniques brush and just lightly dust that onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm now gonna take my favorite highlighting palette of all time, and that is the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys know I am literally in love with this. So I'm gonna be taking the shade mm, Summer. I feel like this is a really pretty shade for literally anyone, any skin tone. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up and pop it onto my cheekbone. That is so pretty. I literally like can't get over it every time I apply it. Damn, that glow. <laughs> I'm also gonna take a teensy weensy brush like this and just apply some of that highlighter just a tiny bit to the tip of my nose. Now lastly, moving on to the lips, I'm gonna take my trusty Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner. This is one of my favorites. I literally use it every single day. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips with this. And to finish off the lips, I'm gonna be using this model's own lipstick in shade Naked 05. And I'm just going to dab this onto my lip just to make it a little bit more wearable and not so bold. 
So this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love how this turned out. I think that it's really neutral and like wearable for every day, but there's also like that slight glam because obviously I just couldn't help myself. You can definitely tone it down if you can't wear this amount of makeup. Like I get that it's a little bit out there with the glow and like the winged liner, but I feel like it's still really wearable for every single day. And this is genuinely like my go-to everyday makeup look. Let me know down below what you guys think of this look. If you enjoyed it and would like me to do more makeup tutorials in the future, give this video a huge thumbs up. And also if you guys haven't subscribed already, like what are you doing? You totally should subscribe. The button is just down below. Come and join the dinosaur family. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all at Roxaurus. But that is all from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.